you guys. This is Evangelist Anita Fuentes coming to you today with Open Your Eyes People Breaking News. God bless you all my friends. Praise be to God. It's Friday, September 20th, 2013. What do we have for you today? You know we got some breaking news headlines. Matching Bible prophecy. We got a ton of headlines from across the world. I'm going to zoom right through them because each and every one of these headlines are so important. They're concerning the, the hour that we're living in, the signs of the times that Jesus spoke about. Listen, I want to say thank you so much for joining me on today's broadcast and a very special thank you to all the new viewers who decided to log on to our broadcast today. Thank you. Please stay and enjoy because you may be surprised at the things that are currently taking place in the hour that we're living in. My goodness. All right. You know what? Before I go any further, I just want to tell you about a CD that we're offering on our ministry website. Check this out. How to Walk in These Last Days. In this two-part series, the Holy Spirit teaches us how to walk in this final hour before the soon return of Jesus Christ. With many in the church, including leaders, becoming apostate, with the world shaking like never before, with evil seemingly having the upper hand in the world around us, we must know how we are to continue to run our race regardless of what we see or hear in this present world. Log on today to www.emof.org. All right, let's get right into these headlines, shall we? Check out the new gun that allows cops to shoot and capture your DNA. A new tool that would allow law enforcement to prevent criminals from running away or disappearing into a crowd before arrest was highlighted last week at the SHOT Show in Las Vegas. That's because the police officers always shoot their target? I mean, this is crazy. A DNA gun? Let's take a look and see what this is all about. Hi, I'm Destiny from Fate of Destiny. I'm here at SHOT Show 2013, and I stopped by this booth that is unveiling this brand new product, and I he here I have Andrew Nice to explain a little bit more about it. What we have here is a, a DNA pellet marking system which fires these little balls here and in each of these balls there is a unique DNA code with a UV optical brightener. It's designed to allow the police and law enforcement to mark offenders in a riot or a crowd control situation and when the, the pellets are deployed through this gun and they hit the skin it actually leaves an invisible mark that's only visible under UV light that can be forensically analysed to allow the perpetrator to be put at the crime scene. Awesome. So, um, earlier you mentioned that this is available to law enforcement only, but if someone was uh, interested in obtaining this for their uh, department, how could they get a hold of you? Um, the full details are on the stand. We're on booth 117 at the SHOT Show, or by the, the web, selectadna.com. The name of the DNA gun is called Select a Mark. Select a Mark? as in Mark of the Beast type technology. Hey, we, we gotta be real here. This is Revelation 13 type of signs that we're looking at. A DNA gun? That's pretty, can be scary. Your DNA could be tagged invisibly without you knowing it. My goodness, what other headlines do we have? Check this out. Pope Francis says, church can't interfere with gays and abortion. Well, that's interesting. You know, many are uh, believing that Pope Francis could be considered uh, the last pope according to a prophecy by Malachi. Uh, many others believe that he could very well be the false prophet as spoken of in the book of Revelation. You know, um, there's a lot of, uh, again, signs of the times that we're looking at here, and uh, we just got to uh, keep our armor on, amen? We got to uh, make sure our walk is narrow and uh, be able to discern by the Holy Spirit the things that are true and the things that are false. All right, let's move forward. Check this. More Methodist pastors defy church law 
and wed gays. All right, so now with this uh, admission from uh, Pope Francis, this uh, Methodist pastor probably believes he has gotten the go-ahead from God himself. My goodness, you know, we got to be careful as ambassadors of Christ here on earth as to what we say is of the Lord and what is not of the Lord. We have to be careful not to be careful when it comes to our words and making it um, uh, almost liberal, almost open to uh, redefinition because... Um, it's a dangerous hour that we're living in. And a lot of apostate, unbelieving people are looking for anything that the church may offer as uh, an opportunity to continue to live in sin, to continue to not believe in Christ, and to really, uh, you know, ultimately fall away. And we don't want to do that. We want to be clear. We want to be precise. We want to be, um, uh, we, we, we want to leave no doubt as to what the Word of God says. And let it be made known by the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is, is full of grace and truth and love. Come on. So that's why I always say it's by the Spirit of the living God. Um, there's a boldness. There's an authority behind each word of God when it's, convict, when it's convictedly spoken of by the person, the prophet, the, the disciple of Christ who is out preaching the word, ministering the word of God. So again, we must not leave any room for wonderment or again, redefinition. All right, we got to move forward. I got it. I got to see how much I can cover here today. Today, California College bars a student from handing out copies of the Constitution. The Constitution guarantees the right to free speech, but don't try to pass out copies of it at Modesto Junior College in California. A student at the school who tried to pass out a pocket-sized pamphlet of the very document that memorializes our rights got shut down on September 7th, a date also known as Constitution Day. What? You know we got some footage on this. Check this out. I'm quite happy, sir. I'm, I'm actually having great conversations with my colleagues. Yeah. Why? Don't I have free speech, sir? All right, let, let's go inside and find out. And I'm, uh, trying to start a student organization called okay. Young Americans for Liberty. That's fine, but if you're going to start an organization like that, you have to go through the rigmarole, the rules and regulations that have already been set. But well, why are there rules and regulations placed on free speech? You're talking about a club, okay? You're talking about a club. If you're, going, if you're wanting to start a club, you have to go through the process. Yes, but I am a... I am a student at this campus exercising my free speech rights and engaging in conversations with my fellow students. Okay, well, I understand that. But you're, who you are representing today is the Heritage Foundation. I'm not representing the Heri well, Heritage the Foundation. Camp. They it's simply the made the, the, the constitutions, which is the highest law in the land, that I am passing out. Okay, still, as a student on campus, passing out anything whatsoever, you have to have permission through the Student Development Office. Isn't that a violation of my First Amendment rights, sir? I believe it is. But if you're going to go ahead and you're going to fight me on that, that's up to you. I'm telling you where you can go. I'm giving you a solution. Okay? I, I'm not trying to stop you from doing it. I am telling you that there is a process. Well, you are stopping me from doing it because you're, you're threatening me with action because you, you were... ...an application, and I would need to have a photo of your... Um, your ID. You can read these um, guidelines and procedures. No problem. We're not telling you you can't. You just need to follow the Well, you're telling me that I can't engage in free speech with, no, with I'm my not fellow telling students. You. No, I'm not you're... telling you anything. I'm just sharing with you that in order to be in a free speech area, the time, place, and manner, you would need to fill out this so that way I can put you in the So court. I can't engage and... in free speech on my own with my fellow students. You can be on campus, and just to let you know, I have two people on campus right now, so you have to wait until either the 20th, the 27th, or you can go into October. So, but why can't I go talk to my fellow students right you now? You can talk to them as much as you want. And I can't give them copies of the Constitution. Um, why? Because it's Constitution Day. It's, oh, okay. It's the Constitution. Well, okay. The Constitution is the highest law in the land. Okay. You, it's you, you what really guarantees my...
It guarantees my right to free speech. I, I'm not disputing your right to free speech, okay? Okay. Let's, let's go. You shut it off. It's for the free time, place, and manner, but he's not really willing to um, fill out the paperwork. He just wants to uh, question the authority of why can't he hand out constitutional type of papers. Which, I'm not disputing that, I'm just letting him know what the procedure like is as far as being on campus. Papers. So, I, I'm like, I I don't know what else to share with this student other than he is a student, he does want to share the Constitution, because apparently he saved Constitution. I am. Dr. Tim, yes, correct. Yes. Okay, okay. I got you. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Okay. I need to refer you to the Vice President of Student Services, Dr. Kim, and you can call her and set up an appointment, um, and she will further explain to you what the time place is. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> is this woman serious? This is the uh, administrative lady here at the school. This uh, spokeswoman uh, says that uh, there there is a free speech zone. This is, hey, listen. This is what the, this is what is going on in the hour that we're living in. The new world order is in effect. Socialism is in effect here in the United States of America. Our liberties are not only being stripped right underneath our noses. They're pretty much gone. What the hell did we just see? What did we just see, my friends? She has to get a picture of this man's, this student, the student who currently attends this college. Chances are he pays his own way. He may have his family paying his way for him, helping out, maybe some kind of scholarship grant. Nevertheless, money is being paid for the student to go to this college. He knows his constitutional rights. He wants to exercise them, and he's being limited halted in a sense and needing to be filled in into the schedule to speak in a little tiny spot on college campus his free speech in what is called a free speech zone who the hell is this woman see i know it's not just a woman it's a, it's a, it's that system also known as the new world order system this is no secret let me make this clear the new world order system was not just made up by conspiracy theorists the New World Order is actually prophesied in the Bible in the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verses 23 to 26, and chapter 8, verses 23 to 26. Also, in the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and chapter 17, we need to recognize what time it is. We need to know what's going on right in front of our eyes, right underneath our noses, because things are a-changing. And people are going to be surprised one day and is they're going to they're going to be like it would be like they woke up because all hell is going to look like it broke loose in front of them but they did not realize it has been inching ever so closely to the day again when all hell is going to break loose here on US soil many are going to be like we already knew it was going to come we already knew this was going to happen others are going to be like this should have never happened what happened we didn't know when this was going to happen. How can this be? Oh, God. It's crazy. So what can be done? Hey, listen, you know what, 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 what we need to do? We need to make sure that our house is in order. We need to make sure that we fully have surrendered to the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to make sure that if we're uh, still involved in some kind of sin, temptation, addiction, bondage, that we can, um, excuse me, we go before the throne room of God, wherever you are at, and be honest and be real with the Lord. Not complain. Lord, why do I still have this? No, go to the Lord and say, Lord, this is what I'm struggling with. I'm looking to be used in this hour. I'm looking to receive the anointing of the living God. I'm looking to live my life for you. But I am struggling with this bondage, with this fear, with this torment, with this addiction, with this sin. And I seemingly don't have the strength to stop it. But I understand you have an anointing that breaks the yoke. 
And I'm looking to be a soldier of yours. I'm looking to be a disciple of yours. I'm looking to be used in this final hour and I am not able to be used if I'm still addicted or in bondage to something. I know that and I know, I know you know that, Lord. So I'm fully surrendering everything. I'm asking you to change my heart, my mind, my body, my soul, my spirit. I'm giving you my will. See, a lot of people want to be free. I'm going to tell you, a lot of people want to walk in newness of life. A lot of people want to walk in resurrection life. You better hear me, my friend, because this is for you if you've been struggling. You're gonna get, this is going to tell you how to get set free right now. A lot of people want to walk in that newness of life, want to walk in that resurrection life. The resurrection life, come on, of Jesus Christ has been bought for us. But what they don't want is to die first. They don't want to die. You got to die. Not physically, but you got to die to those habits. You got to be willing to die to the temptation to sin. You got to be willing to die to the to the uh, a lust of the flesh to look at pornographic images of women and children and men and beasts of the field. We got to be real here. You gotta be willing to die to wanting to smoke cigarettes and smoke weed and snort up some cocaine. You gotta be willing to die to the man who winks at you more than once and who looks at you at the cubicle. And, and, and you gotta be willing to die to the lady who says, oh, you're so handsome, you're only 50, you look like you're 30. You gotta be willing to die to all that. The Lord, let me, please hear me. The Lord will provide the anointing that breaks the yoke. He's not telling you, you got to break it. I'm going to repeat that again. The Lord is not telling you, you got to break your habits, your sin, your temptation, your lust, your desires, your bondage. Because he knows we can't. We have no strength in ourselves, no strength in the flesh to break any sin or stronghold. It's like a person trying to uh, go in the ocean in the middle of these 10 foot crashing waves and say, stop. I said, stop. No, what's going to happen? You're going to drown. You're going to drown. And that's what people have been trying to do. They've been trying to fight the flesh in the flesh. And you can't. You could only bring, break. That, the, let me rephrase that. The only way that any of those things can be broken completely, not just broken temporarily. I'm talking about completely, is by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You know what that's, do you know what that's called? I always say it. That's called the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. You got to be willing to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. But in order, in order for you to be able to receive it, you got to be willing to die. You got to be willing to tell God, take my life in exchange for the new life you have for me, Lord. I, I, I'm ready. I'm saying yes to fully surrendering everything. Fully, I'm telling you, yes, Jesus, I'm telling you, you can take over every part of my life, every addiction, every fear, every torment, every bondage, every desire. I'm giving it to you. I'm saying yes to you. I'm giving you my life. I'm asking you to take my life. And in exchange, I'm saying yes to the new life you have for me. The moment you do that is the moment that the process begins. Now, I know many people have been delivered overnight. Heck, many people have been delivered in an instant. I'm only teaching you what I've been taught by the Spirit of God. I went through a process, a refining fire process. I wouldn't have changed it or exchanged it for anything else in the world. I'll tell you that. You need to get started on that process today. You need to call on the name of the Lord if you're ready for this. If you're down with this, email me and I'd be honored to lead you into a prayer of full surrender. Anita at emoaf.org. If you hear it and you're like, man, that sounds good, but in all reality, I want to be set free, but ah, the lust feels so good. I don't know if I want to fully give in to that. Then you're playing games and you're going to go to hell. And somebody needs to love you enough to tell you the truth. You're playing games and you're going to go to hell. And you, there's no reason for you to. There's no reason for you to. You're, you're, you're being lied to. You're being lied to. You're, you're deciding to play with, the, with, with dirty, piggish, piggish things in the pig pen. And you were made for much better than that. You're not a pig. You may have been called one. You may feel like one because of what you've been delving into, the dirt and the trash, but you're, you're, you're not a pig. God made you in his image. God made you in the image of himself. 
out of everything he's ever created you are his masterpiece you're not a pig but if you don't surrender your life you're never going to be able to receive your new identity in christ praise be to god somebody just got ministered to this is powerful stuff i have so much word that needs to be delivered god is good though and he's delivering it to you right now all right we got more headlines check this out new university of regina bathroom facilities help muslim students prepare for prayer the university of regina is going to great lengths to help its muslim students avoid doing the same when washing for on-campus prayer sessions oh my gosh oh my gosh all right i just want to i just want to you know i, I just want to make something clear here first of all this is in the u.s and it would seem like oh well it's not a big deal they should be able to accommodate their muslim students it's very nice however there's been a, a, a an aggressive agenda against the christian brethren brothers and sisters in christ by the say by 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 satan's minions posing as liberals and left wingers and democratics and not all democratics i'm not saying everybody's like that but the, the point is is that, is, that, is that part of that socialism new world order oh, ungodly system that's on the scene say no 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 there's got to be a, a a separation of church and state you can't pass out your church literature here you can't pass out your bible literature here heck you can't pass out the constitution here you can't do any of that here there's a separation of church and state we don't want to offend anybody we don't want to make a prayer room for the christian people who need or who would like to go and just sweep onto the lord before a test so that they won't have fear and anxiety coming against them we don't want to accommodate anyone who would like to start a prayer group on the college campus no 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 that might offend and we don't want to do that do we however we see the accommodations of the muslim faith the islamic religion here in the u.s could it be it's because there's an agenda here to islamicize the united states of america <laughs> yeah <laughs> hello yeah yes big time all right let's move forward with some more headlines christian street preacher arrested in scotland a police officer told reverend josh williamson a pastor of craig reformed baptist church to stop preaching because he was breaking the law when reverend williamson asked the officer what law he was breaking he replied that williamson was in breach of the peace mm -mm -mm. let's move forward scottish teachers removed from classroom for distributing christian books to students here in the u.s we have fourth graders taught about pimps and mobsters in louisiana Fourth grade students in Vermilion Parish, Louisiana, were given a homework assignment that included words like po pimp and mobsters. But school officials said the worksheet was age appropriate based on an education website affiliated with Common Core Education Standards. All, all right, all right, all right. We know that a lot of things are happening here. We know the indoctrination that's being taken place in the public school system for quite some time. If you've been a viewer of Open Your Eyes People, you know that we have been reporting to you some crazy, ungodly, abominable type things that have been taught to children as young as kindergartners all the way up to high school. We're talking about sex education for kindergartners. We're talking about how to achieve an orgasm at the age of five. That's no exaggeration. We're talking about how Planned Parenthood is being paid to come into your children's classrooms to teach them on how uh, sex is between a man and a woman and homosexuals. No, I'm not exaggerating. We have broadcasts on that. Check out our YouTube channel, some crazy things. Now we see this is all part of this what's called common core education standards set forth by none other than the obama administration isn't that nice no it's horrible but 
The superintendent of school system said that's just part of the Common Core Education System, uh, excuse me, program. He says that your children, this is, he's actually quoted as stating this, he says your children, when they go into a store, they're going to end up seeing CDs that says Po Pimp and Mobsters. <laughs> We're just helping them out. We're giving them a head start. Listen, <laughs> superintendent, Common Core peeps. We don't need you to help us on how to raise our children. Listen, if you guys can homeschool, please do it. Please do it. God will take care of you. Please do it. Because there is a lot of indoctrination. Satan is targeting your children like never before. He's not saying, oh, no, no, no. Little Susie's only five. Little Johnny's only two. We got to wait. No, Satan is trying to target the babies and parents are just handing them over in the form of all sorts of ungodly things. I could really go into that, but I got other headlines. Please, please give your children to Jesus. I was just talking about surrendering your life to Jesus. Give, if you got babies, give your children. When I say babies, they could be 25. Give your children to Jesus. Say, Jesus, I need, I'm giving you my babies. I love them. I want them to protect it, but I'm not God. I can't, I can't be there 24 seven. I can't, prevent them from getting hurt or, 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 or in this crazy society, something worse happening to them, but you can. And I'm asking you to plead your son's blood over my children in the name of Jesus. That's, a, the, the, that's called the blood covering, my friends. The, bl the blood covering is powerful. You need to read that in the book of Exodus because a lot of things happen in Egypt where people who didn't have the blood covering over their households when the spirit of death came through the neighborhoods, it attacked the ones who didn't have the blood covering. No, that was not a, a fantasy story. That actually happened. It's in the book of Exodus. Take a look at it. I got to move forward. Oh, boy. Brazilian businessman inspired by Egypt's pharaohs buries his $310,000 Bentley so he can use it in the afterlife. Well, he's going to be really disappointed. Wow. Okay, let's move forward. Public masturbation, not a crime, Swedish court says. A man who openly masturbated on a Stockholm beach has been acquitted of sexual assault in court after it was ruled he was not targeting a specific person, with the prosecutor saying it's okay to play with yourself in public. <laughs> you couldn't make up these headlines even if you wanted to. They're so ridiculous. This is it's all around the world. This perverted Luciferian Babylonian system is in, is being infiltrated. It's being accepted. It's being as don't worry, we shouldn't be ashamed. Everybody, it's it's all part of them expressing themselves and the ones who should know who the ones we need to get rid of are those Christian narrow-minded bigots, those haters. We, we, we need to kick them out of society. That's new world order. I'm telling you, and that's what that is not just what's coming, that's what's already here. Let's move forward. FBI calls half of populace with 9-11 doubts potential terrorists. Now, if you've been a viewer of Open Your Eyes People, you know that we've brought you headlines on a redefining of terrorism from the Department of Homeland Security. The face of terrorism used to be the crazy Al-Qaeda extremist person who wanted to do harm and damage and, and terrorism to the United States of America. The terrorists used to be the jihadists who had plans to come in and, 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 and again, cr create havoc and terrorism here on U.S. soil. Not anymore, my friends. Ever since the Muslim Brotherhood has infiltrated the United States of America's government, has, it's, it, when, when the Muslim Brotherhood has, has, has received high-level senior, uh, uh, senior positions with great influence over U.S. policies, no, that's not an exaggeration, we have seen a redefining of many things. One, for instance, is terrorism. Jihad is no longer a terrorist term. A lot of things have been redefined, one of which is the fact that terrorists are now considered people who believe in the book of Revelation, who are for the Second Amendment and U.S. constitutional rights, 
who are for pro-life and against abortion, who are against illegal immigration and socialism, and many more. No, that's not an exaggeration. You know we got more headlines. I've done broadcasts on them. Again, take the time to go to our YouTube channel. We'd love for you to just take some time and really view it, get your Bible out. We give you all sorts of scriptures and many of those, and all those broadcasts. I got to wrap up the broadcast. It flies so quickly. All right. We got CD titled How to Walk in These Last Days. Just as was mentioned earlier, please take the time. Pick up a copy for you, a friend, a loved one, some strangers. People need to know how to walk in these last days because there's a lot of things that are taking place. A lot of people are moved with every wind of doctrine now. Pastor so-and-so is now allowing same-sex marriage. Pastor so-and-so is now saying that uh, Jesus really isn't the Messiah. He's just a way to get to heaven. Pastor so-and-so is saying that there's no such thing as hell anymore. I've been evolved on my, uh, uh, on my uh, I ideology on that and many more. And we don't want to be moved by every wind of doctrine. Amen? We want to be moved only by the Holy Spirit of the living God. And uh, you need to order a copy for you and your friends today. Plus, it helps the ongoing work of this vitally important end time ministry please donate get your cd today uh we have also an 1159 billboard campaign that's taking place throughout the u.s right now we have 30 billboards up in the chicago area come on you know it's needed out there but you know what it's needed all over we're trying to get some internationally so if you can help expand the work of this broadcast ministry if you can help uh, g keep it running. Please donate towards, towards the work of this broadcast ministry. Not many people are preaching this, and we're doing our best, and, but we know we can't do it by ourselves. So again, go to our website, see what you can do, donate today, www.emof.org. Please visit us on our Facebook page. We have way more headlines. I have a ton of headlines here that I had already stacked up, and I didn't even get to them. So visit us. You can see the headlines coming out on a daily basis by the grace of God. And uh, hopefully, uh, maybe I'll get to say hi to you if you send me a shout out, okay? All right, listen, I, I mentioned earlier about fully surrendering. Emailing me if you're serious. That still stands. You gotta have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life, my friend, in order for you not to be deceived in this final hour. There's no other way for us not to be deceived in this final hour unless we have our names written in the Lamb's Book of Life. The Lord says, He says that there will be a great falling away in the last days. How can this be? Because there are going to be many people who've called themselves Christians or who believed in God, but they never surrendered their lives to Christ to be born again, to have their name written in the Lamb's Book of Life from the foundation of the world. And so when the stuff hits the fan, when a so-called peacemaker arrives on the scene and he looks and he smiles and he just seems so much like Jesus, but he's not. He's going to be Satan. And when he promises world peace and oh my gosh, all we wanted was world peace. All we wanted was peace. And when he actually makes a, a, a treaty in the Middle East and brings peace to the Middle East when all hell is breaking loose right now. When World War III seems to be on the brink and he's going to come and be like the savior of humanity, people are going to be falling away big time from the quote-unquote Christian faith. Pastors are going to promote the New World Order system. Are going to say, come and follow me to Jerusalem. We found the Messiah. And much, much more. There's going to be great deception that has never, that, that never has, is, or ever will be again. The Lord says, if it were possible, even the very elect would be deceived because of great signs and wonders that will be taking place. And see, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be you. It doesn't have to be any, any, any person if you're willing to say yes to the new life. Surrender your old life. Surrender the life you currently have and say yes to his life. Email me again, anita at emof.org. I'd be honored. I'd be honored. It's a private conversation. It's a private email, anita at emof.org. I'm the one who answers those emails when it comes to fully surrendering, my friends, okay? Anita at emof.org. I'd be honored to lead you into a prayer full surrender unto the Father and have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Praise be to God. All right, I love you. 
Have a wonderful Friday in Jesus' name and a great weekend, okay? God bless you. Bye-bye. Open Your Eyes, People is an end-time publication broadcast with specific focus on the signs of the times, end of the age, Jesus' is soon return. This is Evangelist Anita Fuentes. Open Your Eyes, People brings you the latest in breaking news world headlines matching Bible prophecy. God said in Isaiah chapter 46 verses 9 through 10, He declares the end from the beginning. Are we living in the last days? Is all that is happening been prophesied in the Bible? Are we the last generation? These and many more questions are answered through this spirit-led broadcast. With over 180 nations tuning in each week, it's no wonder God is using this broadcast to see hundreds come to salvation each week, rededicate their lives to Christ, and sharpen their walk in the narrow way. We need your help. We cannot do this alone. We need your financial donations to help keep and support the work of this broadcast ministry to reach and disciple even more souls. Time is short and the day is dawning. Donate today. Go to www.emoaf.org. That is www.emoaf.org. We need your donations. Visit us today.